All right, guys, on today's video, the latest hats pack has just been released for the latest firmware of 21.1.0. Now, this is going to include the latest atmosphere of 1.10.1 .1 and Hakate 6.4.2. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. So the very first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down on the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be two links. The first link is going to be for the hats pack. The second link is going to be for the latest firmware of 21.1.0. So this is going to include the latest atmosphere, bootloader, Akate, the best switch apps, and the latest version of the DBI application working with this firmware. Now, if you're doing a fresh install, just unzip all the contents of the hats pack folder and then copy it onto the root of your Nintendo Switch's SD card formatted in FAT32. Um, if you're updating your SD card files to the latest firmware, just follow along in the video. So now for the first link, which is going to be for the latest release of the hats pack. You're going to scroll down on the page until you find the releases section. You're going to download the latest. Now this is going to be a zip folder. So you need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now for the second link, this is going to be for the latest firmware of 21.1.0. .1 You're going to scroll down on the page until you find the section NX firmware. You're going to download the latest. Now this is also going to be a zip folder. So you need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So now that we have all the files, So I have three folders on my desktop. The first folder is the hats pack. The second folder is the latest firmware. And the third folder is gonna be my old Switches SD card files. Now we are gonna open up the hats pack folder. That's gonna be on the left. So this is gonna be all the folders included in the hats pack. So in the switch folder, you're going to have all the latest applications working with the firmware, including uh, DBI, Tinfoil, Tinwu, Daybreak, etc. Now on the right, this is going to be my old Nintendo Switch's SD card files. Now if you're doing a fresh install, uh, just select all the folders from the hats pack and then copy them over to the root of your Nintendo Switch SD card. If you are updating uh, your Switch card files to the latest firmware, uh, you can delete your Atmosphere folder, you can delete your bootloader folder, you can delete your config folder, you can keep your MU MMC folder, you can keep any emulator folder, you can keep your Nintendo folder, you can keep your RetroArch folder, you can keep your ROMs folder, uh, you can delete your scripts folder. As for the switch folder, you can just override all the files. If you have a switch games folder, you can keep that folder. And you can also keep the themes folder. Um, any other folders you can override. So now we can delete these files. Now we are going to copy all the contents of the hats pack onto our Switch's SD card. So just select all the folders and then copy it onto the root and then override any files. So there you go. Uh, last thing we need to do, if you are gonna be updating your Switch offline we are going to copy over the folder with the firmware onto the root as well, just like that. So now you have all your files. Uh, once you get on your switch, if you want to update your firmware offline, you're going to be using the uh, Daybreak application, which is going to be included. So that is basically it for the video. I will be leaving 
all the links that you guys are going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.